Okay, this is an impromptu and not very well planned video. I have a friend with me here. He has to stay in here. Henley's not feeling well and we don't want him in there bothering Henley. We want Henley to sleep. Um, so the reason I, my, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean for my hand gestures to punch you. Um, the reason my face looks incomplete is because it is incomplete. Um, I had a question about highlight and, um, highlight and bronzer for a more mature skin. And the fact that I've had so much work done, my, my skin doesn't count. But I, I was to try anyway to help, to, to say how to do this. All right, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Let's, all right, so obviously, these are um, mink lashes in case anybody cares. They're these. I've had them a long, long time. I've worn them many times. And I was in here playing in my makeup room. Uh, they are called, these are Wispy Me Away. Okay. And they are trimmed to fit my eyes because I have little, little eyes. All right. If, there's the glasses I was looking for. In my opinion... And it's obviously my opinion since it's coming from my channel. Um, bronzer or contour? It's bronzer, not contour. I would not contour older, an older face because it's... I just wouldn't. I think it would only be more aging. I would take a color that is obviously uh, a tan color. I'm going to use this one in the next palette, or the Ritual, um, since that one's my favorite, and, well, I'll go ahead and use what's on here. I would lightly, after you have your entire face done, I would lightly, and I'm using a dabbing motion because my face may be a little dewy now. I've been outside with the aging dog. Mm. One way to assure that it, you have a smooth application is to powder for sure where you're going to bronze. And bronzing serves to make you look healthy. I have on MAC lip gloss and my hair is sticking to it. And when, even if you are aging and you do have a few wrinkles, you still want to look healthy, right? Ooh. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier ritual and I'm going to apply that and because I'm on camera I have to put more than what you would put in real life and the Laura Mercier has a little glow to it and I wouldn't go with shiny or you know sparkly but I think the amount of glow that comes from this, this product is, is not too much. You don't want to look too matte either when, with aging skin. Because then that makes you look older too. See how it warmed up my face and I look healthier already. I don't know why I'm patting. I think it's because I have a, a, 
a dry, irritated place right here. I think I got too much um, cream contour. <laughs> and I went to town buffing, so I little exfoliation action right here that was unintended with a makeup brush. Okay. I would just put it everywhere. Like, you know, if you go to, let's say, a spectator sport and you have on sunglasses and you accidentally get sun anyway, all the places where where you would get rosy there see those okay now with the highlight um I think a little a little bit of shimmer is okay um yeah I know I don't have crow's feet because I don't I don't even have any little creases out here because I've been getting Botox for so long and so that I, out here never gets opportunity to crease. Anyway, even with that said, I think that a, a little highlight on the high cheekbones, and if you wanted to go with matte, you could. This is a, um, a matte highlight in the NYX palette. It's this beige one right here. Here's the shimmery one. Here's the beige one. Just up here at the... At the um, it's either a high cheekbone or the, the outer border of this... Is it orbital bone right here? The outer border out here. And what you've seen, and lately when I've been saying I have the uh, all the all that stuff I carried in. Long story, but all my stuff that I've been using is in a bag down here on the floor. Um, when I've been telling you, I've been using the Spotlight uh, by Smashbox, the collab from Casey Holmes. And I'll say, I have it here, and here, and here. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm taking this pink sparkly one. And adding it to the, like right under my, right at the corner of my eyes, at the inside corner. You can just try it. It's just makeup. If you don't like it, don't do it next time. And I really do think it makes your nose look turned up. And then on your cupid's bow. What if you have wrinkles up here in the top? I'd still give it a try. I would still try it. Um, what's the worst thing that could happen? That you have to take it off? What I would do is I would... I would put the highlight in the bronzer everywhere you want to wear it, just like I do. Take a selfie. Take a picture with your camera. Better than taking a picture with your camera is uh, walk by a mirror and just glance at it. And see how much better I look? Just, just by adding some bronze. I don't even have blush on. I just have bronzer and highlight. Let's talk about the what rest of the... Okay, the green underneath my eyes is this AE by Makeup Forever. 
I uh, wrote it in the lashes, on the lashes, and then took my ring finger and I just really smeared it. My What's on my lid is this Kevin Aquan, Kevin Aquan um, Shadow Duo. Here's my, here's my heavy duty glasses. I bet they make me look say but they made me look uh myopic is that the word um the silvered lilac and blood roses that i think heather sent this i have that i have that on my lid and that in the crease and then i um put this sparkly shadow on by urban decay it's called glitter rock it's in the same family. Wow, do those punch out? Sure enough. I guess it's so you can build your own palette. Um, then for my lips, I have on this Sephora nude lipstick that I tell you reminds me of the Kevin O'Quan lipsticks that come in this. It even smells exactly like it. And it's Sephora. And I can't... It's called number one. Anyway, it's very nude. It looks like a concealer. Even when you put it on, it looks like a concealer. So I put it on my lips with and rubbed it in and then put this dazzle glass over the top and this is called boys go crazy it's a see the color and then I also rubbed that in so there you go I'm sorry I'm with Taco doesn't want me to wiggle. Um, I had to, I pulled this out. This is the Stila um, Lash Stunner. I paid a lot for this. $28 or something. It's, it smells horrible. It has gone off so bad that after I decided I was going to use it anyway, I thought, well, what could it hurt? I'm going to put it in my eyebrows. I'm not going to put it in my eyes, on my eyelashes. My I could smell my eyebrows for a little bit. So this goes, goes bad. So bye-bye to that. Um, the mascara, I was trying to use this that I've had forever. And it is, it's the uh, Tarte. And it's dried out. I mean, it'll put it'll put some on there. The, the thing is, though, is it will crumble later, right? Because it's past its due date. Anyway, so that's go. Oh yeah, that's that's off too. Ugh. All right. Okay, that was one thing. The talk about the. Uh, bronzer and highlighter put it on anyway don't pick up you know a one that comes that makes you look shiny and sweaty just pick something modest um, conservative you probably already have something like that Ugh. And this this lipstick. I think it attracts hair. Also, uh, you probably have a brownish blush you could try. Remember in the 80s when we would do heavy blush in the below the cheek and then fade it up to make make it look like contour? Okay, so that is the uh the bronzer and the highlight. Uh, and the same with the highlight. Just go with a, something that's 
you know, not outrageous, you know, dis disco ball. Okay, here's something else. Somebody was talking about the brushes. Get They get it caught in their hair. All right, well, you need to be, uh, con I know a lot of you know this. Okay, watch. Put the hair over it, and I flip the ends around it. Okay, it, it comes out, and I turn it, and I turn it. All right, when you get it stuck, it's when you've done this and you lock it in. And see, now it's, well, it's going to come through anyway. But it's when you lock it in. If you lock it in, yeah, it doesn't, it won't come out. You got to unroll it some. You got to, you go up. And go back up. Don't lock it in. Also, another problem could be getting the brush too close to the hair that you're not working with. That that that's where you get it caught. Is if you if you're working on a piece of hair and then you get it close to the other hair and then it won't then it won't slide out. Instead of pulling, try unrolling it. I don't know. I I I said I made a sarcastic comment to whoever it was that said they get their brush caught and I said it could not it might not be the brush, it could be user error. I was only teasing. Um And I said that I would uh, think about it and see if I could come up with some some do's and don'ts with the round brush to keep it. Now the other thing is some of the round brushes, like this one, it has a sticky grip and the hair does get stuck on that. And it has boar bristles in it, and it really, that one really doesn't slide. You have to unroll it and get it almost to the end of the hair before you can slide it. See, it won't slide there. So I guess it also depends on the, And I know a lot of you don't have as much time to sit and play with your your uh, beauty tools and experiment with your makeup. When you do put your makeup on, it needs to be it needs to work the first time. I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself. I like my mink lashes. Um, you need for your makeup to turn out right the first time because you're. You only have so much time to get ready and you got to get to work so you don't have time to experiment with something that you may have to take off. With that said, um, on your days off, maybe you can, you know, take extra time. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, the, uh, I have on the Makeup Forever, um, the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, Step 1 Smoothing Primer, the Makeup Forever HD Stick, and the one that, the color that I wear is the 127 equals Y335. Um, the highlight under my brow is the Maybelline Dream Loomy and this. This is Laura Geller. It is 
highlighter, baked highlighter and French vanilla. I have that under my brow and it's very clean. It does it makes a nice clean highlight, doesn't it? Um my brows are brow gal again. I used it dry this time. I can't open it. It's child proof. There we go. Wow, it looks really it's ashier in person. It looks warm in in the monitor. Anyway, I used that throughout my brow and that on the front. And I used it dry this time. And then, like I said, to set my brows, I used the uh, foul-smelling lash stunner. And that's my look. And no, we're not going anywhere because we have a sick dog. Um, we think Henley's having many strokes, one right after the other. So we don't want to leave him alone because he's frightened. Okay. I guess that's it. Um, Y'all have a great weekend and I'll be back and I'll be back. I have a, a pretty, pretty low key week ahead of me. Let's go do...